day now. I haven't had out at all, I haven't seen anything crash. And uh, the only thing that's happened is the wind's picked up. Uh, but it's blown right down uh, to where I'm fishing, so what I've done is uh, reeled in my rod and the zig, uh, which was just open water. I was just casting it out every hour, just a little two, three foot zig. And uh, I've put it right to the, as tight as I can, I've walked it round just to uh, these two pipes, which are. Uh, just for like if the lake like overflowed or something like that, I think that's what they're there for. So what I've done is I've walked it around, put about ten baits out, uh, just load it down and yeah, it felt proper hard. So I uh, load it down then, put the rod back on the rest and yeah, leave that for today and hopefully get one off that today. If I don't, I'll probably before I go up sleep anyway. Uh, well, say about five six o'clock before it gets dark. Uh, I'll recast all my rods and probably leave that one there because that wind's supposed to be windy all day. Uh, so it's blown right down in, into the where I've just put that rod. So hopefully I'll get one off of that. But I kept the other two rods where they are, just one to the far margin and then one towards the far margin, but not as tight. Uh, just to try and get a fish. That's all I'm fishing for. Just a fish. Uh, I'm not trying to like. I'm not fishing for like a couple of fish. Just. Uh, Flinging just three singles out and me, putting about 10 20 baits over each run, each uh, rod every don't know, two three hours. Because uh, this time of year, it can be anywhere, they can be in the layers or on the bottom on the feed, you just don't know. So there's some bait down there if they want to feed anyway. So yeah, but there's four anglers fishing, so what's 12 rods out in the water and only one fish has been caught in the last 18 hours. That's how long I've been fishing for, really. Uh, so, my prediction is that anything could happen, you know. When I've been fishing here in the past, I've had, I've had a session, I've done two nights and uh, I had six fish. And then I've done a, a weekend as well, a two night session as well, and blank, so you just don't know what's going to happen. Uh, it all depends on the conditions, really, I guess, and uh, where you're fishing. Uh, but hopefully, I'll get one this time. The fish I had last time were absolutely great fish, you know. Uh, I did make a video on that, but uh, the video, the music got copyrighted. So uh, what I'll do is I'll include them pictures in this video just to show you what what's the average like stock of fishing in this Eagle Lake in the Tees Valley complex. Uh, just so you get a rough idea of what you're fishing for if you're fishing this lake. Uh, so yeah, I'll uh, catch up with you in a bit. Uh, if I get have been coming during the day, the lad fishing next to me in peg two, he has, he's had a few. Uh, I've had nothing still so everyone in the lake's just left and uh, I'm the only one fishing so I thought I'd just uh, fish the rest of the day, just hopefully get one. Uh, a few bites have been coming during the day so it's always worth just say an extra couple hours. Uh, so yeah I've got at the start of well, Friday night I chucked down the rods to the far margin because that's where Normally when I fish peg one in the past, that's where I've had fish from before, but since yesterday I don't think none of us have caught from the far margin, so the lad fishing peg two, he's had a few just out in the middle in the deeper water, because it had been proper windy the last few nights and raining and really cold, so I fish in the deep water, so I've got all three of my rods now on solid bags just in the deep water, maybe two, three rod lengths out. Uh, the deepest part of the lake is actually right below the rod tips. Uh, but I don't think the fish are there, I think they're just maybe about half throughout that's where the lad next to me has been having a few from anyway so you know if they're not coming from the far margin and I've done nearly well I've probably done about 40 hours two nights and I uh, thought I may as well the last few hours just change it up and put all my rods in the in the middle of the lake uh, where the deep water is well I've got one on a gravel well, I think it's a gravel bar running through the lake 
just one of the bars in the lake where it's a bit like shallower and I've got two in the deep water uh, just little pink citrus pop ups uh, and then just a little pink citrus fizz and stick mix in a solid bag so yeah I've got about two or three hours left and as you can tell it's windy uh, but the wind actually blowing down in the peg one which is where I'm fishing and uh, I thought I would have had a few on the, on the wind but it's been a cold wind and obviously we're still in February and the fish aren't as active as well I thought they would be anyway so they just, just sat still on the bottom really motionless not doing much I thought they'd be on the wind but obviously not so yeah I'm feeling confident two three hours left if that maybe uh, hopefully get one show you for the camera uh, if not it's been a good session still I've enjoyed it it's with these lakes because the memberships lake uh, the people that fish it are great lads uh, we've had a good social last night and yeah it was good fun and uh, beach sitting behind your rods on your own board not doing anything so yeah I'll let you know if uh, I get anything and uh, yeah let's catch it in a bit Right then, came okay, to the end of the session now. I've uh, got about half an hour left, something like that. And yeah, it just hasn't stopped being windy to be honest. When I got here Friday around tea time ish, uh, it was windy and since then it hasn't stopped. Uh, so yeah, I've got my rods out, but nothing's gonna happen, I don't think. Uh, got two of my rods towards the left in the margin, well, say margin, about two rod lengths out. Then I've got one towards the far bank because. There's been four of us fishing and most of them, majority of the fish have been caught just in open water just out in front. Uh, but yeah, I've got about half an hour left so if I get anything I'll let you know. But although I haven't caught this session I'd thought, I thought I'd uh, make this a video as not many people have fished these lakes yet and uh, the people who want to see the lakes obviously can see the lakes on this video. So a lot of my sessions have been going on recently, a lot of my fish have been coming last minute. Uh, when I went to the Syndicate Lake, I had one literally last knocking, so yeah, fingers crossed I do get one. Like, I've had a few lines on my right and rod since I've cast that out towards the far bank. Uh, so, yeah, see you next time.